Hi, Radical Feng Shui with Charlene here. And the next thing I want to talk to you about are where we place things in our house that may have meaning symbolically that might not be great. So in Feng Shui, it's common belief that when you walk into a home, you don't want to see things hanging on the wall like guns or anything that has anything to do with destruction, pain, suffering. Now, and that goes right to the, the cross, the Christ cross. Now, originally what we call the Swiss cross, which is totally equal um, ends as opposed to the, the, um, the Christ cross, is that there's equal energy. So that type of a cross seems to work. And if you notice on priest vestments, it's never the Christ cross. It's always, it's always the four side, the four equal cross, what we call the Swiss cross. So you walk into a home, you don't want to see guns. The other thing is you don't want to see pictures of dead relatives when you walk into a home. You want anything that has any resemblance to death, suffering, nostalgia of the past that's painful in dead ancestors, not to be the first thing you see. Another thing is we don't place things like that under a bed either. We sleep at night, we're affected by all the energy, so we want to be in a good location, which is why I practice geomancy and I check beds for my clients to make sure there's no water running or water and fault line. We don't want that energy to be permeating our body for long periods of time. So that's why I work with geomancy, because some of the, the things that are symbolic, some is some of that is unseen energy, which is underground or geomantic. So we don't want to place things that are unsavory under a bed, whether it's a gun or whether it's things that would do with any kind of destruction, which leads to what kind of things you put on your wall. The next thing is just not a good idea to have paintings that are sad and foreboding. I mean, you can have a room that's dedicated to certain types of art, but when you're welcoming people into your home, you want energy to be positive and powerful and uplifting. And one of the things you don't want is, you know, a death scene or something that reminds us of something that's going to make us sad. So, and this is all just, again, the raising of our, our powerful, positive chi and happiness flow instead of draining it. There is a difference and this is how we can work with it. So these are just a few things that I would say not to do because it just makes sense, which I think common, <clears throat> common sense is Feng Shui and Feng Shui is often common sense. Thank for, thanks for tuning in. Radical Feng Shui with Charlene. Please subscribe.